into the Hall of Fame and we're adding two new names to the list. Uh, what we're going to do is every period of five years we will uh, pick three players in hurling, three players in football, year by year. So this year we're honouring people from 1970 to 74 and uh, we're inducting Eamon Creedon and Tony Wittig of Offaly, two fantastic stars. It's a very exciting project because it brings the team of the Millennium and the status that's afforded those players to life literally and uh, we now will be calling it the Hall of Fame. It's a great honour, absolutely. Um, I certainly didn't expect it, but uh, delighted nonetheless. I'm a little bit uncomfortable with it because I'm, I, I thought you'd get a Hall of Fame when you're about 92, and I'm only 62, so um, I think it's a great honour for, for me, for my family, and uh, for, for club and for my county. We were in Leinster final in 67 and Mead beat us, and Mead won the All-Ireland, and uh, we were in the 69 we won the Leinster and Kerry beat us in the final. Uh, in 70, Mead bet us. It was the first long time, long, uh, it was an extension on the hour. It was 2.35 minutes, I think. And we had a great half-time lead, but typical Mead uh, beat us by a point. And all that built up to 71 when we won in 71 and won in 72. And won in Leinster in 73. First day I wore the Limerick jersey was in November of 64. I came on as a, I was playing against Wexford and I came on as a sub against, sorry, we were playing against Dublin. And uh, I remember taking two shots in goal and Jimmy Gray making one of his many fantastic saves and I nearly killed him because uh, it was my first puck of a ball and I was hoping to be a goal, but he made a great save. And from then, the following year, 1965, I played a championship against Waterford and from at centre field I was marking Larry Guinan and then from there on until uh, 1982 I played senior championship with Limerick. The idea behind it was uh, Team Millennium their collection would be represented throughout the museum so we wanted to bring it into one place into a special place and bring the team in so that when people come in here they can come into the Hall of Fame and see, see footage of the team, see their collection, see their medals, jerseys and then as part of that, uh, for obviously Team Millennium was back in 2000, we, we started looking at uh, other halls of fame in other codes uh, and we wanted to have our hall of fame here so we start with the period of 70 to 74.